Hi, my name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. So our first example has a matrix A. And we're asked to find the dimension of the image of A and the dimension of the kernel of A. So, um, we could just find the image and the kernel and then look at their dimension. But um, instead of that, we're going to use some theorem. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to reduce, we're going to find the dimension of the image. Uh, we're going to do that by putting this matrix in reduced real echelon form. So, I'm going to do this pretty quickly. I'm going to take row 1 divide, divided by 2. I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 1, 3, 6, 8, 8, 14. Then I'm going to take R2, subtract 2 of R1. Then I can take R3 and subtract 6 of R1. Then I'm going to take R2 divided by 2. Or divided by negative 2. Then I'm going to take R1 and subtract 2 of R2. Then I'm going to take R3 and add 4 of R2. So now we have an reduced row echelon form, and since there are two leading ones, the rank of A equals um, 2, is the rank of the reduced row echelon form of A. Also equals 2. And um, since the rank of A equals the dimension of the image of A, the dimension of the image of A is 2. Now for part B, told to find the image of the kernel, or dimension of the image, uh, dimension of the kernel. And so for this we can use the rank melody here. So, this tells us that the dimension of the kernel, so the nullity of A, plus the rank of A, which also happens to be the dimension of the image, um, equals the dimension, the domain space of the matrix. Since we have a um, 3 by 4 matrix, um, the domain is um, domain space is R4, and that means that the dimension of the domain space is 4. And we already found the dimension of the image to be 2. So the dimension of the kernel of A is also 2.